Now, boom, mine's gonna teach you very simple steps here, very light what's how to get dreads. Yo, it's your boy's baby, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to get dreads. Now, I'm telling you, get dreads is easy, but the process is hard, all right? Getting it is easy, but the process is hard, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if that makes sense, but yeah. So before we even start this video, I need to tell you one thing before we even say anything, all right? If you don't have patience to get dreads, then, then click off this video because you're not gonna get dreads, simple as. You need patience, I'm telling you, you need dedication and patience. If you don't have that, get out of here, man. But anyway, but anyway, yeah, let's get straight into video. So how do you get dreads, all right? There's many ways of getting dreads. One, you can go to a salon and get your hair twisted when your hair just started as an afro. Or two, you could do my way, all right? What I did is I used a sponge, all right? You know the sponge that you used to make your hair curly? What I did is I sponged my hair every day for three months every day for three months without washing it you can't wash your hair during those three months all right you gotta you just gotta keep sponging it every day for three months and yes i know it sounds disgusting i've heard that you can still do this method and wash your hair at the same time i tried that and my hair came out all right i tried doing that my hair came out all right i don't know i don't know how people do it. i don't know how other people do it but that shit didn't work for me okay so but yeah, as I was saying, I tried washing my hair and doing the sponging method at the same at the same time, but I didn't work clearly. You know, my hair kept on coming out. It wouldn't dread, it wouldn't stay in, uh, you know, in a dread form like this baby right here. You know what I'm saying? Let me find out, shit. If you want to do my method, you can, because this, this is exactly what I did. This is, this is exactly what I did, literally. So I got a sponge, sponged it for three months straight, didn't wash my hair for three months. And yes, there's gonna be um, yeah, you, there's gonna be setbacks. One, you're gonna collect a lot of dandruff, all right. So when people tap your hair, you're gonna see a lot of shit flying in the air, okay? Hair, air. Does that rhyme? I don't know. All right. Uh, two, you're gonna struggle to get girls. I'm sorry, but it's true. All right. When you're starting out, your hair does look very ugly in the beginning stages, but that's what you gotta just conquer man you just gotta conquer through that stage the ugly stage all right so your hair's gonna be short you're gonna have that spiky shit on your on top of your head people are gonna be calling you names and shit gonna be calling you sonic the hedgehog you look like a lightning bolt whatever you know you're gonna have to go through the pain all right people are gonna say why does your hair look like that even when you told them you're getting dressed they're still gonna mock you fam they're gonna be like but why is your hair like that nigga i just told you shut up so you're gonna have to go through a lot of bullying through this stage all right so you're gonna have to stop getting girls you're gonna have to put that on pause all right i was putting it on pause before i even started getting judged you know what i'm saying because man don't even get girls like that i'm like I'm not, even, not even trying to flex man it's not even a fit it's not even a thing to flex but anyway as i was saying let me let me focus ugly stage we talked about that so once three months passes and you're on that last month forever you can stop sponging your hair this is the final step this is the final test to see if your hair has finally locked after the three months because we want to keep sponging it for three months so our hair can lock. So once the three months has passed, you want to finally go wash your hair. Go wash your hair, fam. The day has come. The day has finally come. You can go wash your hair and test out if your hair will come out or not. So all you want to do, I'm just just put water on your head, yeah. Just throw water on your hair. If it doesn't come out, it means your hair is locked. All right, you're fine. Finally, your hair is locked and you can finally wash your hair so once you've confirmed that your hair is locked you can stop sponging your head after this you just want to let it free form you just let it free form I've, i let my hair free form for like four months or so something like that i can't remember i waited a, a couple of months and then i finally got my hair into lock free form is quite a long method of getting dressed like it can still work but your hair won't come out as clean you know what i'm saying because look my hair came out probably cleaner after what i'm about to tell you you see it came out like x x x did that you know you know what i'm saying after letting my hair free form for a couple months like four months i went to the salon and got my hair interlocked and died on this and died on the same day once you get your hair interlocked you will see your hair will start to fall like literally you'll see a lot of hang time what hang time means is like you know like this my hair's kind of wet because i washed it in it but yeah you'll see a lot of that once you get your first interlock so that was literally the whole process that i did so i got my hair interlocked and died on the same day and then obviously my hair started hanging way more because before i got it interlocked my hair was just like it was hanging but it wasn't like you know i couldn't shake it or anything but once i got my hair interlocked that baby was shaking man golly after that you can either do this you can just let your hair grow out and let it grow longer you see my hair's growing pretty long uh the last time i got it i got it interlocked for the first time was six months that was the last time i got my hair interlocked that was like the first and last time you could just let it grow out and shit you know i'm gonna get my hair interlocked again because as you can see hold on i got a lot of new growth you know what i'm saying fuck 
as you can see, I got a lot of new growth in my hair, and that gotta go, man. I gotta, I gotta get that shit. I gotta get. Uh, I can't even talk. I gotta get that shit done, done. On God. So I got, I got a lot of new growth. You know, I need to get this shit interlocked. So yeah, I need to get my hair interlocked, and you know, once I get it interlocked again, my hair will probably, you know, look, if I put it down right now, be almost below, just below my nose. But yeah, hopefully this advice has helped you. You know, just remember guys, three months, use a sponge, sponge your hair every day. If your hair doesn't seem like it's getting curly, uh, try use some gel, gel your hair. Only once when you first start, gel your hair, put it around your hair and then sponge and then you'll see it's starting to, you know, take form and shit. And then let it grow for three months straight. Basically that's free forming. And yeah, just let it grow. After three months, get your hair washed. If it's locked, that's mean you're good. You can stop sponging your hair and you can finally wash it and then get your hair interlocked and then you'll start to see your hair starts to fall down and then boom. You don't have to do the interlock part, that's your choice, that's what I did. You can do the free form way and then eventually it will, it will start to fall down. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll make sure to see you guys in the next one, man. Peace. Pull up in Make you feel the breeze Pull up in the spray